Hello guys, Lion Prime here, bringing you guys a very useful tutorial on how to make a really cool intro on Cinema 4D. Sorry for I haven't been uploading as many videos as I used to, I've been really busy lately with school and all this other crazy nonsense, and just in case you guys are wondering, YouTube's not the only thing I ever do in my life, so yeah. Also, another reason why I'm doing this video is because too many people have been requesting intros, and it's really hard to try to keep up with all of that and with my regular life, so... I decided if I make this tutorial for you guys, um, I won't have to make the intros anymore. And also, I'm not going to be making intros for the rest of this month, so if you, uh, for now on, this video up, anyone requests any intros, I'm not going to make it until the next month. So, let's get this party started. This is for Cinema 4D. Okay, what you're going to do is open up Cinema 4D. By the way, this is my first tutorial on Cinema 4D. I really don't use it that much, so sorry if I get some things wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. You're going to want to go to MoGraph, create a Mo text. <laughs> Once you do that, you're going to want to click or type what your text you want to be. I'm going to keep it as text. Keep it nice and simple, like a four-letter word. Uh, change the font to whatever you want. Um, nah, I would say the, probably the best one for this kind of stuff is, where is it? Uh, B-Bass. B-Bass is pretty good. Then alternate what size, what height or depth you want. And to change the camera angle like this, click this little rotating thing right here. I don't know the exact name for it, sorry. Like I said, I'm not much of a Cinema 4D person. And to zoom in, just use the scroll wheel. And then get it to like an angle that you want your intro. And now once you do that, you're gonna wanna go to caps, start, then fillet cap, which gives it this kind of look with a little like caps coming out of it. And then once you do that, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to want to click on the Motex, like actually click on it, and then click, then press the C, like C on your keyboard, and then you're going to go do exactly what I'm doing, highlight the, uh, the letters, and then just drag them out until you see this left arrow. And then just click on Motex and delete, since you really don't need that anymore. And you're going to go to MoGraph and Fracture. And then what this does is pretty much gives it like a little fine finish to it. You'll see what I mean. you'll see what I mean once I'm all done with this. And then that's pretty much it for that part. Also, I forgot to tell you this through this at the beginning. Make this 200 frames. Trust me, it all makes sense in the end. Okay. Or it actually, I just like that 200 frames. Anyone's fine. And then what you're gonna do is click on Fracture, MoGraph, Effector, and then Random. And this was pretty much just gonna do is then make it how far you want the text and just pretty much make it random and then rotation change the rotation a little bit okay now that's just for the first frame and then you're gonna hold control and click on strength once you went to effector so you're at parameter and then you want to go to effector and then once you do that, you want to right click, I mean hold control and click on the strength key. Then you're going to go all the way over to the 90th frame and bring this down to 0%, press control and then click once again. So this is what your intro is going to look like. Boom! Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> nice little sound effect right there. Now, what you're going to do, choose what color you want. I usually like to do, I'm just going to do a basic blue and black, blue on the inside, black on the outside. So, like a blue. Just in case you're wondering how I'm doing this, you want to go to File, Shader, and then New Key. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I don't know how you would correct me on pronunciation. So, File, New, New Key. Double click on it. And then make the color to black. I'm trying to make this as, like, noob friendly. You know, I'm a noob. The Cinema 40 itself. So, sorry if, if I'm moving too fast. And then under Selection, you're okay first. You want to make it two colors, click on the color that you want in the inside, and then go to selection. And then you're going to make uh, capital C, then one. And then you're going to press enter. And then it may show up as if like right here, but over here you're going to want to move it over to the right. The color that you want inside always has to be on the right side. I don't know why, it's just like that. And then yeah, it's going to look like this. You can add some light if you want to. This is oh yeah okay yeah. This is, add some light if you want. This is just extra, extra stuff I'm doing. Okay, it's gonna add some light. Okay, that's, that's good. so yeah. 
and then yeah, once you do that, you're gonna want to go to the render settings, make this 1280, and then make this 720, and then you want to go to all frames because you want to render all the frames, not just those. Then you want to go to save, save it as a QuickTime movie or an AVI movie, whatever once works here, rocks your boat. And then I'm gonna make this uh, intro tutorial. Save it. If you, also, you already know how to do this, then you don't have to watch this part. If you already know how to render videos in Sony Vegas. And then once you do that, you're just going to want to click the render button, which is the middle one right here. And you'll be all done. And in the end, your intro, if you also click the link how to add um, flames and optical flares and stuff, in the end, your intro should look a little bit something like this. This is what it should look like when it's all done. So yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, um, it's really basic, I'm going to be uploading some more tutorials in the future, as of now I'm not accepting any more intro requests, it's just starting to get out of hand, I can't do it all, sorry guys, sorry next month I'll start it up again, so yeah, thank you guys for watching this video, I hope it helped you out a little bit, and I'll catch you guys next time.